All right, everybody. It's time for the grand tour of the bare bones as I bought it. No changes yet. Cargo trailer. So, start up front. Uh, two and five sixteenths uh, inch ball hitch. Um, nice feature here on the um, on the the jack, I guess you call it, where you can drop it down, so you don't have to crank it that whole way. Um, hang on, let me. Actually, I can just leave that as is. I just got to remember to do it up before I get pull the trailer back in. Um, battery for the uh, trailer brakes is here. Uh, emergency breakaway kit as required by law. Um, I spent the money and bought a um, hitch lock that was, oh, and a bunch of puck locks. So I bought three puck locks plus the hitch lock, including this puck lock, so four all together. And this steel hitch lock uh, from Proven Industries, um, total was $400 for, the, for all of them. Um, virtually unbreakable. Um, and I think I'll be safe with uh, just those. I don't think I'll need to get uh, a hub lock or anything. So continuing on, we got the, uh, the diamond plate here on the front, stone guard. Uh, diamond plate on the uh, front of the V-nose marker lights up top four marker lights across the top and uh, oh uh, two inch by four inch uh, tubular a-frame uh, tongue area uh, chains all that was standard with it okay that covers the front uh, side markers you got a side marker there another side marker up top side marker on the back and another one on top of the wheels uh, dual axle um, these are the kind of axles that you have to lubricate once a year um, it's got a four inch drop so it rides closer to the ground um, what else oh I went with the um, 0 0.30 thickness aluminum uh, come standard with 0 0.24. I figured a little a little thicker would last longer, be a little less prone to dents, and uh, generally I just wanted quality. Um, so the snapper trailers come with um, a couple of different options. There's a standard, there's a or a basic, a standard, and a premium. And the premium version gets you um, like five inches between screws whereas the um, basic and the standard give you somewhere closer to eight inches so I'm, I'm getting almost an extra screw per uh, per eight inches there um, so these are I mean these are closer to four inches because my fingers spread like that are eight inches so four inches on center there um, Nice railing across the top. It's all aluminum on the top. Uh, I went with, let's see if I can climb up here and you can see it. Oh, I can climb on the truck and you can see it. Hang on, let's go around to the truck. Nice little step here on the truck. I love this feature. Okay, climbing up. So I went with a one piece aluminum roof. It normally comes with a, um, a an overlapping um, it's not aluminum, it's some kind of a steel roof, and I paid extra money for a one-piece aluminum roof. And uh, it comes standard with that uh, roof vent. That particular one is, there's no fan or anything, it's just a vent. You'll see that once we get inside. Uh, Alright, so that being said, let's take you inside. Alright, first upgrade on the outside, besides the aluminum itself, was the... Uh, I had them go with a 36 inch um, RV door and now that I'm looking at this I guess that's 36 inches okay uh, 36 inch RV door rather than a 32 inch RV door and I had them put the bar latch so that the latch covers the RV handle the RV door handle 
just a little extra added safety or uh, security feature. I don't think it makes any difference because if somebody, if I, if this is locked, I don't think anybody's going to try to pick or pull or whatever this, whether it's behind the bar or not. Okay, so bar latch is nice. Um, it does not come with a door holder over here. Thank you. It does come with a spring up there to keep it to keep the wind from taking it away. All right, side door number two. We just saw side door number one with the RV door. Side door number two is a little bit different. This is the other custom feature that I had to add. Flip that up, flip that up. Why two bars, you say? Well, because this door is a ramp. So I'm not going to be able to put it all the way down because of that stump. No, oh, maybe, maybe. Yes, there we go. All right. So we have a ramp on the side in addition to the ramp in the back. Oh, LED lights on the, on the back. And then an LED light for the license plate. Uh, a couple reflectors down low. Uh, that pretty much takes care of the outside. So the back is also a ramp. Really easy to, to uh, raise and lower because it's on a spring. Has a um, little extension here and a piano hinge. So you roll right up. It's a heavy duty ramp door. Uh, this also is a heavy duty and also comes with the little extension there so my thinking behind having the ramp out the back and the ramp out the side is that there are going to be times when I'm parked somewhere at a campground at a parking lot at a, wherever where I'm not going to be able to, to put the back ramp down and I want to be able to get the bikes out or kites or whatever else so I wanted to be able to have a ramp going out the side for those purposes. So that means, if you watch the other two videos, that means that uh, the bikes will basically, the garage area will be back here. Um, so uh, spring loaded back ramp door here, spring loaded side ramp door, uh, the spring is up here. Um, here is the aforementioned vent, roof vent, uh, nothing special about that. Um, a couple of uh, oddities that I've noticed, um, seems to be a bend in the framing here that I'm not thrilled with. And um, the alum, or the, uh, I'm sorry, the the wire for the LED lights on the outside is very taut. And I noticed the day that I got home from bringing it, from picking it up in Georgia, that, that this particular LED was out. And it was just a loose wire um, that I guess had been pulled too taut. I don't know. Um, so another uh, feature that I added was uh, the seven foot uh, interior so it's actually seven foot two um, the standard interior comes at six foot they the the premium version adds three inches to that and then I had them add another foot on top of that so it should have been seven three they you know they got close it's seven three to the to the actual aluminum up here but these are inch uh, inch wide inch thick uh, beams up here so in, one inch by an inch and a half um, beams are 16 inches on center on the roof 16 inches on center on the sidewalls and 16 inches on center on the floor we have three quarter inch uh, floor uh, three quarter inch grade a plywood on the floor three eighths inch grade a plywood on the sides um, I'm assuming they put this this wider strip here um, so that they didn't have to have perfect joints on the plywood. I'm going to figure out a way to get rid of this middle piece. Don't like it much. And I'll find a way to get rid of this as well. Whether it's just some, some T-stripping or something. 
haven't decided that yet. Uh, it comes with an interior light. Light switches over here by the door. This only works when the um, trailer is plugged into the truck for the moment. Um, I will eventually add my own puck lights just like I, like I had in the van. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's the, the basic tour of the trailer. Um, in case you didn't notice the stickers on it, it is made by Snapper Trailers out of Pearson, Georgia. Uh, they did a fantastic job. I couldn't ask for anything more. That one little spot right there with the, uh, the vent framing was the only thing that seemed out of place with it. It's just really solid craftsmanship. Um, and I did a lot of research on the, um, on the various manufacturers that are out there before I picked uh, Snapper. And I'm really happy that I went with them. Um, so that's going to do it.